Let's start. Today we will see how to implement Google Sign-in in Kotlin Android. First, go to the firebase.google.com website. On the home page, either click the Go to Console button or click the Get Started button. Once you land on this project's page, click the Add Project button. Here you are supposed to enter some project name that will be created on this console, so make sure that your Android project and this console project have relevant names. I will name this, Google Sign in Kotlin Demo. Then click Continue. Once you land on this page, click Continue. Select the default account for the Firebase option from this drop-down list. And then click Create the Project. This will create a project on this Firebase console. Click Continue when the project is ready. This is the dashboard page. You can see our app name is mentioned here. Now, in this Get Started section, click the Android icon. Here we will add Firebase to our recently created app on this console. Type the package name that you have used or will use in your Android project. Also, specify some nickname. Now, we need an SHA1 key for our Android project. Hover the computer mouse on this question mark here, it tells us where and how can we get an SHA1 key. Click the, see this page link. You will land on this Google Play Services page. Here you will find various ways of finding the SHA1 key of your app. Scroll down until you find this section. Copy this line. Go to the Android Studio. Click the terminal option. Paste the copied text over here. Now press enter. This will generate a sign-in report inside this run panel. Scroll a little, and you will find your app's SHA1 key like this. Copy this. And paste the SHA1 key over here. Click the register app. Once the app is registered, download this Google Services JSON file. This screenshot tells us to select the project section in the Android Studio and put this file in the app folder. As you can see, I have copy-pasted this file here, in the app folder, just at the same hierarchy level of the SRC folder. Then click Next. We need to add these Gradle dependencies to our Gradle files. Open Project Level Gradle, and add this Google Services dependency. Then copy these dependencies. Now open the app level Gradle file. Copy this dependency in the plugin section. In the dependencies section, write these dependencies. Then, click Next. Click Continue to console. As you can see, Firebase is configured in our app, and it is listed here. Click the authentication button. Click the Get Started button. These are the various sign-in methods that the Firebase provides. Click the Google button. Click the Enable button. It will give some name to our project. Select your email ID from this list. Click Save. You will see that the Google sign-in provider is now enabled. Click the Google button. Click this Web SDK configuration list. Here you will find a Web Client ID and a Web Client secret. We need this Web Client ID, copy this somewhere as of now. Click the Authentication button, then, you will see such a page. Click the Go to Docs option. This will open the Firebase documentation. Click the Authentication option. Click Android. Click Google. Here you can see the step-by-step -step guide on how to program the Google sign-in inside an Android app. We will do this part in the Android Studio. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, and implement the view binding. In the manifest file, write the internet permission. In the strings.xml file, we have mentioned the web client ID in a string. Here we have the main activity, a Google Sign-in Manager class. And in the UI, we activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. 
Here we have a Google sign in button, a sign out button, and a get profile information button. We also have a text view to display the Google profile data. This is the Google sign in button code. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the Google sign in manager class. These are the data members. First, we implement the singleton object creation pattern so that only a single object of this class would be present throughout the app life cycle. This is the setup Google sign in options function. Here we have used that web client ID. This function checks if the user is already signed in or not. This is the sign in function. This is the sign out function. This is how we get the Google profile information. This function handles the sign in result by calling the Firebase auth with the Google function. This function handles and checks if the authentication is successful or not. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, first, we set up the view binding. Then, we set up the Google Sign-In Manager class and the sign-in options. When the sign-in button is clicked, we call the sign-in function. When the sign-out button is clicked, we sign out like this and also erase the data in the text view. When the Get Profile Information button is clicked, we capture the user data like name, email ID, photo, etc., and show them in the text view. In the OnStart function, we check if the user is already signed in or not. The OnActivityResult function is the first step while handling the results, which then calls the Handle Sign In Result function. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the Google sign-in functionality in Kotlin Android. Thank you.